So I have this rocket and because of the way I built it, I need to check it to make sure it'll be stable before I actually fly it. A stable rocket flies nose first, as you would expect. An unstable rocket wants to fly backwards, but it can't because thrust is pushing it forward. So the rocket zips violently back and forth and crashes to the ground. In order for a rocket to fly stable, the center of gravity has to be closer to the nose cone than the center of pressure. Adding weight to the nose cone moves your center of gravity forward. Now, having bigger fins moves your center of pressure backwards. So in order to make sure that this model was stable, Estes made the fins larger than scale. But I'm building a scale rocket. I wanted the rocket to look more or less like the historical rocket. So I downloaded a template, traced it onto the fins, and I cut off some material. So I removed a lot of fin area. What this did was move the center of pressure forward. I don't know where the center of pressure is on this, but we can do a test. The first thing we need to do is prepare our rocket for flight. We're gonna use the heaviest motor we're most likely to fly in this. Then we're gonna add our parachute and put everything together. All right, this rocket is now ready to launch. I'm gonna find the center of gravity here. That's perfect. So we're gonna do something called a swing test. We're gonna take the rocket, hold one end of the string, and swing the rocket around in a big circle. Now, if we can do that and it flies straight, then we know it'll be stable and we can take it out and launch it. All right, I think that worked great. Now I know I can take this to a launch and fly it and it will be stable. All right, so I've added my nose weight. I've done my swing test. Now it's time to fly this thing. Oh, nice. There we go, nice. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs>